Hello, this video is about Monster Mesh and Monster Mesh is an online tool. It's free, no registration or something. It's a, a small tool. It's in development, I think, um, or I don't know, but it works and you can do funny things with this tool. Okay, in Nomad Sculpt, here such a fish or something. This is created in with monster mesh and here other example here this bird monster mesh um, for quick objects that you want to use in a scene only to um, when you when you scale it and, and bring it in position and uh, only want to render a few of a picture then you can use such objects uh, and they are very very fast in in the creation process or uh, other example this pick here it looks from this direction fine but when you uh, rotate it a little bit um, it's uh, yes it's not okay but um, when you need only such a few um, and it's okay and you can adjust it a little bit with sculpting and it's possible to move and drag some parts of the mesh and okay but it's uh, not a vertex painting it's um, these are textures uv textures this is uh, the mesh it looks like this and this is with textures because when you uh, voxel remesh it uh, then the textures are gone and the tool looks like this I restart it monster mesh demo but it it works complete and here here it's possible to import a template picture and uh, for this example I use now the fish and here's the, the template picture and the point one is draw you draw an outline um, around the object but you have uh, look um, uh, for the order of the, um, the lines and the objects you draw here in the help section you can watch a video or you can read it how this works and what you can do with this tool. I like it. Um, oh. And let's start. I do it like this first and draw the, here I'm in the white area, that's not good. And um, because the texture is project it on the mesh and stay inside and draw it with one stroke Okay, and the second point is inflate and you can use um, the inflate button and with a, here is a, a button, uh, a, a sphere with a cross inside, press it and then you can rotate your object and you see here the white parts, um, these are the white parts of the background. Um, yes, uh, we have to yeah, draw it better, but it works. And when you find with this one, press point three animate, and here, because when when animate is not active here, and you want to and you want to download it, export animation is grayed out. Press animate and export animation. Export it and save it. And in Nomad Sculpt, I create a new scene.
import the file here I drag and drop come on drag and drop and here you got your fish and with a gizmo oops you can scale it in this direction and it's fine and the next parts you need uh, fluke flukes flukes or uh, what's the word for flossen um, yes i draw it yes i got a white part one this one Uh, next one and here is one okay press inflate these are the parts and animate export animation export save and back to nomad and drag and drop and the rest is, um, yes, you can here adjust it. And it's also possible to separate the parts of the mesh. Here, separated parts. And it's now possible to select them. Like, oops. Come on, this one, this, and this one, and the next one is this. And we add a, a mirror on the set axis. We bring the, the parts in position. Here the, um, this parts, whereas uh, you can bring the pivot in, a, in the right position. Mm. And adjust the, the parts here. Pivot reset. Yes, I like this. something like this and here you got a nice fish perspective on and it's also possible to um, here when you use multi-resolution you can subdivide the mesh a few times and then here uh, use a move brush or um, to adjust some parts Symmetry is on, local, yes. Or inflate. I think you get it. And here you can place your object. Okay, that's it. Have fun with sculpting. Ciao.